Hey, Corey McArthur here, your realtor online with Remax, and um, here we are in the summer. I think the last time I shot a video was uh, back in the winter, walking through the snow, but um, wanted to um, shoot this quick video. Again, it comes out of a question or a conversation that I've had with clients or people uh, asking, um, how do first-time homebuyers get into the real estate market? now here in the summer of 2018 as we've seen prices increase significantly um, over the past year and a half we've seen over a 20 percent increase in the average sales price in london the average uh, home detached home in london is over uh, three hundred thousand dollars now so what i have shared with some people not this won't be for everybody but this is my suggestion is that um, you do what i call house hacking this is not a new idea um, uh, it's not my idea, I'm just sharing it with you. But the whole premise of that is basically, uh, you go out and you buy a multi-family property. You buy a property that is uh, has two or more units and you live in one unit and you rent out the other unit or other units and generate income off of that unit. Man, the, the bugs are terrible out here. This was maybe not a great idea, but I'll persist. What you do is, you rent out those other units and what happens most often is that income from those units, let's say you make $1,000 a month, so $12,000 a year, most of the time that will cover almost all of your mortgage uh, payments every single month plus some more, potentially your property taxes, some of your utilities, etc. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to basically get into a property, to own a property without actually having to pay the mortgage payment. And then on top of that, the bank will actually look at that income or projected income and add it to your annual income. So let's say you make $100,000 a year and you make another 12000 on top of that with rent money, you make $112,000 a year, which allows you to qualify for more of a mortgage. Now here's the interesting part. This is where I think it gets awesome is not only have you been able to live in your house without basically paying your mortgage somebody's been paying it for you uh, your house has also been increasing in value so here's what a lot of I see a lot of people do is as the home has increased in value and the mortgage has been paid down what that gap is in between there is called your equity and a lot of times the bank will allow you to pull that equity out of the property while still owning it. That's called a refinance. And what it will allow you to do is then take that money and you can go buy another property. It could be a single family home now and you could keep the property that you have. Uh, and now you own a rental plus you've been able to go and buy your own single family detached home. Now you have to have some patience for this. Uh, some people are too impatient or they don't want to be landlords or they're scared of doing it, but it is a wonderful strategy uh, to actually get yourself into the real estate market, maybe get yourself some more home than you would be able to do uh, without the tenants or without being a landlord. And down the road, uh, have the potential of being able to own your own home as well as owning a rental property at the same time. So this is what we call house hacking. Uh, this is, I've really done a very quick high level view of it, uh, but I think it's a wonderful strategy right now for uh, first time home buyers to be able to jump into the market. Um, you know, that's to me is a wonderful strategy. The, the other nice part is that because you're um, buying it as a single family residence or your primary residence, I should say, the bank only requires or the government only requires that you put 5% down, a 5% down payment. Anytime you buy a secondary property, a rental property or anything like that, you're required to put 20% down. So this is another avenue. If you're looking at getting rental properties, this is another way to get in there uh, buy a rental property with a smaller down payment and without actually having to um, put that huge down payment on it. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's provided some insight for you. Uh, honestly, go out there, Google house hacking, uh, shoot me a message, leave a comment below uh, about what your thoughts are on this, and I can answer any of those questions in a bit more detail. But uh, this should give you uh, some insight and hopefully get the wheels turning just a little bit. Other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day and uh, hope to chat with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.